I want to tell you a story about an interaction that I had with Anchor recently, but I want to make this absolutely 100% clear before I start. This has nothing to do with the quality of the product. I love everything Anchor that I own. They make some absolutely killer products. If you found this video by it being suggested, I do all things related to Apple, the good and the bad. If that sounds like your thing, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, ring that notification bell so you won't miss my next video when I post it. Thank you. Before I tell the story, I wanna give a little bit of background about why Anchor is my absolute go-to for Apple accessories. How come, tell me, why, say it, say it! For those who don't know, I did have another channel that I was posting content since 2009. It started off with cases for the iPhone 3G, then it pretty much grew from there. When the iPhone got more popular, the need for better battery life soon took over. Whoa. Didn't see that coming. I tried so many different companies, I, I've lost count. I've got a drawer full of stuff in there. Around 2016, I found Anchor and I pretty much never looked back. It started with the chargers and the cables. I have so many, it's not even funny. I've got chargers here. These, these are probably the oldest ones. I've got a larger one of these somewhere. I, I couldn't find it. I got the, the, the magnet ones. I've got, I got a blue magnet one. I don't know where that one's at. I've got uh, an old like stick one here, and uh, hell, I've got the chargers, I've got plugs, I've got sound core stuff, which I love, chargers, the other chargers upstairs, I didn't grab that, and speaker. The only thing that has ever broke was a cable, mainly because I did this. Oh yeah, she's going. <laughs> In all seriousness, I think one charger may have stopped working after years of use. And I've also given away tons of other battery chargers to people at airports who had dead phones. I mean, Anchor was sending them to me for free. I had ones that I loved and I just started telling everybody how awesome Anchor was. Okay, now that you're caught up, it's time to tell my story. Earlier this year, Anchor released two epic desk slash travel chargers. I did a video on both of them on this channel, and I'll go ahead and link them down below. The first was the Cube, and the second was the 737 Maggo charger. These are both three-in-one -one chargers. When the 737 was released, I wanted to use it on my desktop because I figured it just looked more permanent, whereas the Cube was nice and compact and I could use that on road trips. Now I picked up the 737 in April and was using it pretty much every day. Fast forward to June. We went away on a trip and for some reason, the 737 just wasn't working when I plugged it in. At first I thought it was my iPhone because I am running the beta of OS 17 and things happen, so I just wrote it off. My wife's phone was charging just fine, so I forgot about it. Not even a day or so later, it just stopped charging at all, and I was beginning to wonder what was up. So after my trip, I sat down to try to figure out what was going on. First, I changed the plugs, and still nothing worked. I went to grab another cable, and when I went to switch them out, the entire base was hot to the touch. That's hot. And when I went to pull out that cable, it was actually melted to the back of the base. At this point, I thought, maybe it's the cable? What the? Here. So I swapped it out with another anchor cable and it wasn't working. And I walked away and came back a few minutes later. You guessed it, it was starting to get hot. Now that's hot. So I figured it was a bad unit. Okay, this is the first time I had a faulty product from Anchor in eight years. I mean, who can complain about that? That is a damn good track record. Now, of course, this is what I've come to expect from Anchor and why I recommend them to everyone. How many can I put you down for? A lot? Please say a lot. I need this. In every Anchor product, they got a little slip of paper that includes you directions on how to get to their website support. So the first thing I did was I went to their website, scrolled down to the bottom under support, and you can process a warranty online. Simple enough. Since I bought mine on Amazon, I, I figured probably better to fill out the form and submit the claim. I wasn't in a hurry and this just seemed like the easier way to explain the whole situation and provide all of the purchase info at once. This was on June 19th. After a week or so, I realized I haven't heard anything. Did I do something wrong? 
I probably did, because there's no way Anchor would miss this. You've managed to make things worse at every turn! So I filled out another claim and explained everything all over again. This time, I double-checked my contact info and everything looked good. One weird thing I noticed about this was I didn't get a confirmation email or anything stating that they received my claim. I thought it was odd, but no worries, I went ahead and let it go again. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. When I didn't hear anything, I thought, maybe it does take this long. Since Anchor follows me on Twitter, I figure if I drop a comment to them, they would see it. They immediately replied back and said, you should have gotten a response in one to two business days, and suggested I shoot an email directly to their support. Okay, no worries, I can do that. That was on July 7th. I tweeted Anchor again on the 12th, and said, hey, I haven't gotten a response from support in a week. To this day, I still haven't gotten a reply from the anchor folks on Twitter. <sighs> Maybe I made them mad. Probably. To me, customer service wise, nothing is more annoying than when you see a company continue to post playful messages to followers, yet, I'm ignored with a simple question. I did have a conversation with a buddy on Twitter who does a lot of these things as well, and he suggested I call their support line. I mean, yes, I could do that, but their website has an entire portal dedicated to warranty claims. At this point, I was getting seriously annoyed. I thought, man, when Anchor was a small company, I felt like the interaction was better and I got quicker responses. Maybe they're just too big now and they don't care anymore. I waited until Monday, July 17th to email support again. And I asked, how many times am I going to have to submit warranty claims or email this support as instructed by your rep on Twitter before I get a response. This is getting out of hand. I finally, finally, heard back from support two days later on July 19th. The rep's name was Aileen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Aileen, you are absolutely awesome. Apparently, there was a reply on Monday, but it never got to me. Also, they found both warranty tickets and combined them together after they got my initial email. I checked all of my folders and I didn't find anything. At this point, I was just happy to get a reply. I was asked to explain everything all over again, share the pictures of the invoices, the cable, the damaged charger, which I didn't realize was so damaged until I took a macro pic. Damn, I am blind. I didn't see that at all. Now the cable I was using was an anchor cable, but not the one that came with the charger, mainly because the one that came with it is just too darn short. And I, I didn't buy that cable. I think it was a cable that Anchor sent me for review a while ago. Could that be the main reason? Possible proof that how important cables can really be. Now, since Aileen is not in the United States, it was off days before we got responses to each other. So the next morning, I had an awesome message letting me know they were not only replacing the charger, but they were also sending me a longer cable to use with that charger. That is the service I come to expect. Oh, and they also provided a UPS label and asked me if I wouldn't mind sending back the damaged charger so they can evaluate and see what possibly went wrong. I got no qualms with that, however I can help. As of this video, here is the brand new charger and I did get the cable, which I think is sitting upstairs. I forgot to grab it. I don't know if the team who runs the Twitter page just decided to reach out to customer service or there truly was an issue with the email. You know what though? Things happen. But the most important thing was that I kept on it and thankfully it was resolved. And I don't think this has anything to do with what I did on the YouTube page or the influence that I may or may not have. Have you ever used Anchor support? What was your experience like? Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. If I was asked for advice to avoid this in the future, I would make one suggestion. If Anchor doesn't already have this in place, an automated response for warranty claims filed online to at least let the customer know that their ticket was received and possibly when to expect a reply, and other ways to communicate with Anchor besides that customer portal. I was hoping this story had a good ending because Anchor makes some of the best products I've ever used. And that's rare for me to say because I think there might be only one other company that I really truly love and that's Spigen. Everything they released is just the absolute best quality. And I hope my issue was a one-off and the customer service is as good as the product that they release. Oh, and hey, Anchor Twitter, where are you at? <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
don't worry. I tweeted you before this video went live to give you an update on my issue and to thank you so much if you did reach out. If you wanna check out the other videos I've done on these awesome Anchor products, go ahead and check out this video right here. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you won't miss my next video when I post it. See ya. Sitting down, I, I got things in the way here.